Hello everybody, today we're going to be talking about Snow Stomper, and again, as things get updated and as more news comes out, uh, of course, I'm going to be updating or kind of give you more and more tips for the different Dream Realm bosses as they come out, and of course, uh, in general, I will be making guide content or updating the guides as I get information about them, but today's video is going to be, uh, is going to be specifically about Snow Stomper, because Snow Stomper is a boss that has a lot of mechanics that are kind of annoying and like I kind of mentioned in my last video about Snow Stomper, he is by far the most annoying of all the bosses. Now, uh, if we just take a look at the way that his kit and everything about him kind of works, the gist of it is that he has a number of AoE abilities that do damage, they silence, or they kind of stop you from moving. Uh, but of all these, the one that is actually the most annoying is the not moving part, or the snowball, uh, which freezes one specific enemy or ally in our case, and doesn't allow them to move, hit themselves, or do anything, and it is up to your allies or the allies on the field to knock them or break them out of the snowball, which is kind of a task depending on what level or what, you know, degree of, uh, I guess, damage you have right now. Something that I'm still not entirely sure about, but I feel, uh, at least based on what I've seen anecdotally to be true, is that uh, the more damage or the, uh, depending on what level your characters are, it will be easier for you to knock your ally out of the snowball. However, if you are under leveled or if your proficiency stat is, uh, lower compared to uh, either lower or higher, but you know what I mean? If you are under leveled compared to the enemy, uh, it would actually be much, much more difficult for you to break the character out of the, you know, the frozen chamber. Uh, the only way for you to do that, though, or the way to bypass that if you are at equal footing and trying to push higher, from what I can tell, is to have several DPS or have several uh, damage attackers that can kind of deal with the fact that your high damage target uh, ally is being frozen. Now, what that means, and in plain simple man's terms is that you need several damage dealers or characters that can dish out several fast hits or high damage hits to the ally preferably not through using their ultimates because you'd like to of course use that on the snow stomper himself but that means that characters like Cecia, characters like rainer characters like even marley are really really good value and although i myself right now have not been able to find nearly as good of a composition uh, compared to some of the others that I've seen at the top five, top three of my server, one of the compositions that I saw to be really good was a combination using Shakir because Shakir, of course, gives uh, a damage buff in addition to damage reduction. Uh, Thorin, Marley, Odie, and Rainer. Now, although a lot of the composition that I just described is all under the assumption that you are at least Mythic Plus. Uh, the idea behind the composition makes sense relative to what I'm talking about. You need a fast uh, character that attacks a lot, that can break you out of the snow, which is, again, the Shakir and the Marley in this case. But you also need high damage dealers that are not always reliant specifically on skills to do damage. And in that case, that's going to be your Odie and your Marley. Uh, and in terms of having support, uh, there aren't that many supports in the game that do quite as good a job at... Number one, changing where or displacing where your ally is so that you can have melee characters kind of have easy access to knocking someone out of the snow, which is, of course, Rainer. But there is also no one that also increases the amount of damage that the boss takes at the same time, which, again, is Rainer. However, what that means is that if you don't have access to Rainer, and I'm going to do a run here with Rainer just to show you exactly how good a run with Rainer is, but even if I don't have Rainer, what if I use someone like, I don't know, maybe a Coco, because Coco also, of course, still gives uh, stuff like uh, damage increases, I believe it's haste, damage increases, and life, I think attack speed, let me, let me, not, let me not troll too hard. Yeah, it grants some attack speed. Yeah, there you go. In any case, uh, again, there are some other, I guess, different ways to kind of manipulate or get a high score. Uh, and ultimately, if you don't want to take as much damage, you can also rely on the, you know, random timing, because you can't control your characters, of course, that Coco will be able to apply her ultimate or apply the heal. Uh, and depending on what level uh, Coco that you have, again, these... Uh, these characters will kind of differ in viability just because, number one, uh, imprints are king, of course, because if you can't survive the hits or do enough damage, you're kind of worthless. 
But secondly, uh, again, if you have a certain composition that can stay alive through mitigation or damage mitigation because of a character, then maybe that could be a reason for you to bypass or kind of ignore imprints instead. Enough yapping though, let's take a look at just how much damage I do for my run, uh, specifically with Odie and I guess the Rainer comp. It shouldn't be quite as good as I last recall. However, uh, I don't have Smokey this time around. I decided to use Rainer uh, because, again, uh, or not Rainer, I decided to use Rowan specifically because the amount of damage that I'm taking is not quite, quite enough to justify uh, running Smokey. Uh, if you're just lucky, which is such a bad way to say it, I, I understand. But if you are just kind of lucky, you would actually be able to, of course, survive without the need for a specific dedicated healer and... As I said, that Rainer just ended up getting one shot, which is unfortunate because he is really core in terms of doing damage uh, for this specific fight. And he's another obvious like candidate to deal damage to uh, the snowman kind of freezing effect. And very clearly, as you can tell, a little bit RNG loss or a little bit of an RNG loss. I'm not doing enough damage. And I only ended up doing about 10 million damage uh, to the boss here before I ended up getting snowed down or kind of frozen up. But... Like I mentioned before, the idea behind the fight is is pretty straightforward. Uh, the, the greatest tip or the greatest piece of advice that I could give you is that, again, uh, although it is so unfortunate to hear, you have to kind of accept with a fight like Snow Stomper or Dream Realm fights in general that sometimes the crit RNG on the boss will just ruin a run and you have to give it another shot. Uh, the team that I specifically used to get 12.1 million, which is, in my case, top 10 on my server, which is... Nothing compared to the people that are, I don't know, at like the 66 million range. Um, the run is a bit RNG, and I'll show you even as a kind of a side potential secondary run. If you don't want to use someone like Thorin, uh, of course you can, of course, or not use Thorin. If you didn't want to use Rainer, you could still maintain the same composition that a lot of people have, which is using the Coco and the Smoky alongside Cecia and Thorin to dish out decent DPS, uh, gain value from uh, the faction bonus and still provide yourself a decent high amount of dps because again most people cecia and of course a character like Odie is going to put out a lot of damage but also it does look a little bit dicey even if you're looking at it here uh even with the healing or the skills being cast out here it is not as though the last composition that i had is so much healthier however now Smokey has gotten his skills out and as you can see like the the really big core aspect of this entire fight is whether or not you get one shot uh if you get crit and how long you could really keep your your i guess your characters in general alive this is really good timing actually because uh Cecia's ultimate uh ended up knocking out my coco or knocking out my od and actually i guess i'm gonna hit a a pr now like I said, just a little bit of RNG, and look at that. Now I've got a 12, uh, 12 12.9 million run. Uh, thankfully, the targeting of things were a little bit nicer, and although I did end up getting, I guess now I've got this, uh, or well, I've gotten basically 900,000 more points. The idea behind positioning things so that you don't get one shot, making sure that you're in range for auras, um, just continuously pressing the battle button because sometimes you can't control RNG, but also making sure that you are playing to your win cons for the fight. In other words, taking something like damage mitigation or having faction bonus uh, high enough so that you don't end up getting one shot by something like the Snow Stompers AoEs or the Snowballs uh, is very important when it comes to the fight. And I encourage you to do a bit of experimenting yourself. But just keep in mind that through all your experimentation, at some point you should try to basically work on a composition once or twice. And although I don't have a Shakir to show you, I will or a Mythic Plus Shakir to show you, I will show you uh, the composition that I was described to have done really well. Uh, let me bring it up. It is the Shakir, Thorin, Marley, Odie, and there's no CC or this. So it is a... Okay, so Marley is in here, and the last one is Rainer. Uh, the idea behind this is that we drag back the... One moment. Let me make sure I have it positioned well. Uh, okay, right. So this is so Marley is actually in the back here. Rainer should be back here as well. These get pushed into the front, and Thorin is attached to Shakir. Okay, so this is the composition, and of course, 
Uh, the level of my characters are going to be much lower than the people that have recommended this composition to me. But like I had mentioned, uh, you have the two frontline characters in the form of, <laughs> I mean, it, very obviously what I thought would happen happened, which is that my Shakira ended up taking too, too much damage. And now I'm just one shot. But this composition, once you get things like Mythic, uh, Mythic plus Marley, or you have a Shakira that doesn't get one shot, can do a lot of damage or put out decent DPS. But I just wanted to encourage you to do a little bit of discovery, or if you do have a composition or a Shakir, or some of these characters that I just described in this composition at a Mythic Plus level or even Supreme Plus, and you aren't dealing or losing as much damage uh, through just because, you know, they get one shot and they don't have enough health, I encourage you to try the team. But of course, I've already kind of showed you the other two teams that I've had and why they perform pretty well as well. Uh, but yes, that's all I've got it for, or that's basically all I've got when it comes to the Snow Stomper guy. He is quite annoying to fight. Uh, I don't think you will really ever hit a point where strategy is quite as OP as just having more imprints because through any composition or through any strategy that I've found when it comes to this character all year or for this fight specifically, it always gets trumped by just having more stat because then you don't get one shot or you can take away a Coco and then put in someone like Rainer, any of these things. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video and this guide. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this is, again, a bit more rambling, but I wanted to give you more anecdotal, more specific to my experience of what has happened when I've tried Snow Stomper. I know that this guide is not super, super free to play specific, uh, but this is just kind of very, very important guidelines or things to kind of build your composition around, specifically because, again, Snow Stomper, regardless if you're free to play or pay to win, acts the same towards your team. You just have to play around it. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. If you did, make sure to like, comment, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Good night.